what's the reason for the title? Thank you for the moment. This is the only thing that will remain a mystery, a message that only François Hollande himself will understand. You paint a picture of a French president as an inveterate liar and it seems as if you are out to destroy him at a time when the country is in deep economic crisis. In a sense, it looks as if you put your own woes before the woes of the country. In January 2013, when he was photographed in his helmet with Julie Gaillet, was he putting the country's woes ahead of his own? You say it's not an attack on François Hollande, but you've made some very strong allegations. You say that he made sure that your tranquilizer was increased when you were hospitalized to stop you traveling to Toul with him for his New Year's Day greeting. What evidence do you have that he was behind that? I don't necessarily think that it was François Hollande himself who did it. I only know that the doctor told me the next day that they're afraid to let me leave the hospital until the day later. The entourage of the president were apparently concerned for me not to put myself at risk by driving back from Tools in my car. It seems to me likely that François Hollande's staff were pulling the string in this regard. But you were very ill at the time. You tried to take your own life. How did you actually know what was going on? No, no, no. It was not that I wanted to die. I wanted to forget. It certainly wasn't that I wanted to die. But equally damaging to François Hollande is your claim that in private he called the poor the toothless, and you said he was proud of that quip. Now, Ségolène Royal said that is nonsense. He would never have said that. Ségolène Royal is a politician. I am not. Vous êtes une femme politique aussi. No, she's a politician, not me. I do not need to be elected by the voters, the same who vote for her. I can therefore tell the truth. Did he say that, though? Of course. You paint, though, a very black picture of Françoise Hollande. And yet, until uh, evidence of his affair with Julie Gay became clear, you were prepared to stay with him. Of course, because he was the man I loved. Let's talk about Ségolène Royal for a moment. She is a senior politician. She stood for the legislature and you claimed Francois must have told me a million times that she wasn't up to the task. Isn't that a rather cheap shot? No. No, it was for the presidential election that François Hollande said she wasn't up to the task. And whose cheap shot is it anyway? Mine or his? But you describe Julie Gaillet as a snake in the grass. But surely Ségolène could have said the same about you because you did conduct an affair before you separated from your husband and before Ségolène separated from uh, François Hollande. No, I don't think it was duplicitous. My husband knew right from the beginning and we separated soon after. Ségolène Royal knew about my affair with François Hollande and sent me several messages about it actually. Even in knowing that, she presented herself for the presidency at the time with her husband. This was something outside of my control. I wasn't proud of this lie. That's why I wanted to stop my relationship with François Hollande. But they felt, as political people, that it wasn't the right moment. What is it about French people that thinks it's okay for the presidents to have affairs? I mean, is French society quite misogynist? I mean, it's okay as long as the president is protected. French society is quite ambiguous, as there were adverse reactions to the fact we weren't married, but were also quite accepting about their presidents having mistresses, not only François Hollande, but his predecessors as well. When you were writing this book, in the months that you were writing it, you claimed that uh, Hollande was texting you all the time, sometimes 25 times a day. Are you a fantasist or is this the truth? Do you not think I don't have those texts? You have them all? Of course. Including the one where he asked you to marry him? Again? Of course. Is François Hollande still sending you texts? Is he still in contact with you that way? Sometimes we have conversations. My point then is that you feel justified in trying to destroy him. You say you're not trying to destroy him. You didn't wait. You why did you move so quickly, if not to damage him? Why should I have stayed silent and for what reason? 
would there perhaps have been more dignity in keeping silent? What is the point of keeping silent for a woman in the 21st century? Where does dignity come into that? Where is the dignity for a woman who has been humiliated around the world? What dignity? You say you want to finish the story, but are you saying to me now that you and Françoise Hollande will never ever be together again? We have a saying in France, never say never. But I think in this particular case, I would have to say never. Ce dicton.